Let's get to the crystal ball for the week with Andrew. The, the Prime Minister lost the referendum, the yes vote lost the referendum, but they're not going to drop the reconciliation project. Well, it's going to be a really big news week, isn't it? The government's determined after the referendum loss not to just simply move on with business. There'll be talk here from the PM of continuing with attempts to close the gap in the face of the referendum defeat. But I'm also expecting some announcements this week away from The Voice... One big announcement in particular, I'm told, plus other announcements, including the government's migration reforms, are slated for the sitting week. Andrew, it looks like it's going to be a, a feisty confrontation in the parliament this week. I think you got a taste of that from McKay. You cashed in you. I don't expect in question time for Peter Dutton to be backing away from the voice. And I expect Anthony Albanese to hit back. So it could be well worth tuning in for the next couple of question times. The opposition will also be taking the PM on on his response to the Israel conflict and concerns domestically. I think it's perhaps the most fiery question times of the term so far coming up. The government believes, although Peter Dutton had a big victory here with the no vote, his position has dealt into a weakness for him in terms of the next election with people believing he is too negative. You'll be, on, you'll be with us next Sunday morning, but then departing uh, along with the Prime Minister for Washington. Probably good timing for the PM after this defeat, isn't it? Next Sunday, he leaves for Washington for a state dinner and bilaterals with the US President Joe Biden. There's a question as to whether Anthony Albanese will address Congress, given he was committed to do so under the former Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, and it's now unclear if that's going ahead. Kevin. And finally, as you alluded to earlier, a protest looming in Sydney that authorities are a bit nervous about. Yeah, I'm fearing this one today. As I said earlier in the show, we pray not, but I'm expecting some disturbing scenes in the Sydney CBD this afternoon with this illegal protest against Israel set to take place. Hopefully common sense and a strong police presence prevails. Also seems likely we'll see a ground invasion of Gaza this week.